Hi, and welcome back to the Free From Knits YouTube channel. I'm Hexan Evers, and I'm going to share your favorite ways of crafting for the world of design. All the places you find me listed right down below this video. This is a podcast episode 60 something. Who knows, but I'm back with another podcast episode. I feel like it's been a while since I filmed a podcast. I don't remember. Maybe it's been about two weeks, 10 days, something like that. But I actually have quite a bit to share with you. So if you grab your crafts, whatever it is, and let's let's get to some fun crafting because quite a bit of exciting progress that has been made on lots of things. So I actually have a whole basket here of things, um, various things, maybe it's not like not everything in the basket is finished objects, but um, just a couple of things. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm missing something. I have one sock and I don't know what the other one is, which is not good because, oh, here it is. Okay, I did find both of them. Yeah, good start, good start, okay put that on the ground and first up I have a finished object and I'm going to put these on the sock blockers here. So this was a work in progress last week I believe. Um, it is a finished pair of socks, a new sample of my tripping hazard sock pattern which is one of the patterns in my garter stitch sock collection. My garter stitch sock collection is a collection of three um, sock patterns that feature a knit pearl texture garter stitch in the round um, just to make a fun quick potato chippy knit where it's just such easy repeats and it kind of dresses up your instead of a plain vanilla sock. So here is the pair and this was knit out of Knit Pixel Tunnel in the Thunderhead colorway. So you can see it's just this fun zigzag. It's got my shortcut heel and garter stitch, my hat trick toe, I'll actually take one off the blocker so you can clearly see the zigzag patterning. I love this pattern so much. So this pair is done. I'm going to take some nice pictures of it. Um, I just really wanted to brighten, to ch kind of change the samples. I don't know if I'll change the pattern pictures um, just because that leads to having to change like the, the PDF file itself in the pattern. Um, but like I'll put these on my Ravelry, like they'll see them on the Ravelry listing if not in the pattern. Um, just to, to clearly see them and yeah, I just, and I really, really, I just wanted a pair of these for myself. That's the real, the real story behind knitting the new sample. So yeah, it's just a fun, I love all the socks in this garter stitch collection. I'm actually working on the second sample for another of those patterns. So you'll see that, but this is a finished object and I'm super happy with it. And coming to that every week podcasting, not knowing where to put things because I don't want to like make the sound on the floor, you know, but okay, we're figuring this out. So I have some other works in progress that are kind of, not works in progress, finished objects that are a little bit quick. So one is I crocheted a hat. So this is just a simple crocheted ribbed hat. Um, made by single crocheting through the back loop only. Um, I made a bunch of these hats years ago and I hadn't really worn it in a very long time uh, and I couldn't find the pattern I used to use so I kind of made it up myself, kind of tried to, I couldn't find a pattern with my gauge so and I wasn't going to change my gauge because <laughs> why would I do that? So I kind of, I just crocheted I think 45 stitch chains and then crocheted 40, single crochet 40 through the back loop and then slip stitch the last five and did it like that so that the crown would be like this. It didn't work out perfectly well when I cinched it but it's good enough and I love this hat so much. Um, I put it on but I kind of have my hair up so I'm just gonna look even crazier if I put it on take it off but I really do love this hat if it's so nice and so warm I literally finished this and just wore it the rest of the day because <laughs> it was really cold in the house but it's made out of I love this yarn in the cream colorway and I think I used a 5.5 millimeter hook so really love this hat I kind of want to make some more simple beanies like this but I don't know if I'll do the same stitch pattern because while it was quick and it's warm and I love the fabric so I don't really enjoy doing crochet through the back loop it does slow me down a bit but that is another finished object. And the next finished object is kind of the story behind it. So 
Um, my sister asked me to make her, she wanted a scarf originally, but she wants to wear it while she's riding her bike. And scarves and bikes do not mix. There's a story behind that, but we're not going to talk about that. Long story short, never wear a scarf on a bike. Just don't do it. Take your imagination with that. But so I started by trying to make like a variation of my tower cowlette, which is a pattern I have. I actually have a video about it here on my channel and it's a free pattern on my blog. But I didn't like how it was turning out. So this is, the shape is good, but I just didn't like it for her. And what I, like, it's a nice, I like it, but not for her. Um, I just don't think she'd like how baggy it is up here. Uh, I changed the stitch pattern as opposed to what I did in the Tower Cowlette. So, just not what I was going for. And I don't think she would have liked it like this. Uh, she picked the color, um, this green. But I didn't like it wasn't what she was going for, what I wanted for her to be able to ride her bike and keep her warm. So I finished this and tossed it aside because that's not what I was going for and just went with my original plan, which I started that one and second guessed myself when I, I was at the very beginning, but then decided, no, it's fine. I'll go with my original plan. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone ahead and done what I originally was going to, which is just a single loop cowl like this. So I just started out with a rectangle, did a whole rectangle, and then a half twist before seaming it up. And this is much more like hassle-free, keep perfect to tuck inside her coat so she can ride her bike in the winter. That's, that's what my original plan was and why I very uh, derived from that. Um, I don't know why I didn't go with my, because then I had to work with this yarn twice as long. For some reason, I don't like working with green yarn. I don't know what it is. I just, the color doesn't speak to me. I, I just feel bored working with green yarn. But she will like this. So that's another finished object. And all I did for the stitch pattern for this is I think I chained 28 and did two rows of single crochet and two rows of double crochet. Who did I do one and one for this one? Oh no, oh, that's what I did for the, the other cowl, the shaped one. This is just half double crochet all throughout. So yeah, kind of like four finished objects if we count that other cowl, but I might frog it and use the one for something else. Anyway, that's, that's it, that's finished objects. So moving on to whips, I have this whole, this is my basket, my whip basket, but I'm only going to talk about two of the whips. The third whip in here is a sweater whip, which I'm going to make a whole video about explaining why I'm not working on it, even though I really want it done because it's so close to being done. All I have to do is the body, but it's very disheartening and it's disheartening that I keep it in this basket, which I take around the house with me and don't pull it out. But a whole story behind that but we're not going to talk about it we're instead going to talk about socks because i am on a sock knitting kick which makes me very very happy because if you've been following for a while then you know i have not been knitting i had not been knitting socks for the longest time but now i am and it's really fun because i love socks i love making socks i love putting stitch patterns on socks and it's just so much fun it's fun i love it so first in this bag i have my um the second, the third, really is the third sock in this Garter Stitch Sock Collection that I'm making a sample for. And it is called the Kick Strip Socks. So these socks feature a fun triangle motif. Here it is. And this yarn is, again, Pixel Tonal, in the, and it's in the Heartfelt colorway. It is the reddest red ever. And it's just like so red. I, I, I find it a very pretty color. It's a pretty, like it's just really red. I think it's cool how red they got this color, but this is the kick strip sock. Fun, simple garter triangles, two by two ribbing. And I'm just working alone on this. So not much to say yet. I'm almost, I think I have one more repeat before the heel. And then this is my all of yarn, heartfelt tonal. I think is the proper color we name. It's just a blend of 75, 20, 75, 25, super parchment wool nylon. Pictural tonal. This is one of the yarns I got. Um, I did a yarn haul here on my channel, so you can check that out if you're interested. I, yeah, a lot of fun on this sock. So just working on that, pretty, 
and the second sock I'm working on, which is laying on the table here. So I finished my tripping hazard socks and this gray, I really don't usually have such neutral leftovers in sock yarn, um, but I have a lot left over. So in theory, I could get a pair of shorty socks out of the leftovers of this, this sock. So it takes me approximately a little bit more than 60 grams, I'd say about 64 grams for a full pair of socks um, in one color. So I have a good chunk left that I can get a pair of shorty socks or a pair of mid like ankle socks um, if I put with minis. So since I had this nice neutral, I thought it'd be fun to do like a scrappy pair of socks. I picked these colors for to do like some sort of striping. And this is what I have. So just to have a vanilla sock out of scraps. So I really like it. My plan is to make sure I have enough of the gray to do the toe in the blue. So yeah, it'll be really fun. And I'm also really proud of my socks, all three three of these pairs. I, oh, maybe not this one. Um, my ribbing, I usually cop out of my ribbing at like 12 rounds, but I've been pushing it. This one is 18 rounds and the Garter Stitch Sock Collection socks, I did 20 rounds of ribbing. So I'm pretty proud of that. But I just did my heel, shortcut heel and stockinette. And it's really good. I'm really, really happy with the sock. So it's been fun to have just a vanilla knit and then the Garter Stitch Sock Collection socks, which are a step above vanilla. So it's, it's easy repetitive but it's not just knitting that is actually everything i am working on i'm sorry if that felt rushed didn't mean to be rushed i'm just really excited that all the socks i'm working on so maybe it came off as rushed but i apologize for that because i'm not trying to be rushed yeah anyway um i did want to mention some pattern news so um last week i shared that i had finished all three of my new samples for my delightful knit sock collection and i'm working on the patterns and this pattern i'm also going to be coming out with a so right now you can purchase the Delightful Knit Sock Collection um, before the update and you will get a cuff down sock recipe. So, but I'm also working on having the sock collection available for toe up. So I will be looking for testers for that. So if you are interested in being a tester for any of these sock patterns, you could do a vanilla, garter ridge, or garter rib, um, toe up, DK weight socks, one with my shortcut heel and either sock or garter, um, be sure to sign up for my tester newsletter, which is linked down below. So for my tester newsletter list, all that means is you just, you put in your email address and whenever I'm looking for testers, you get an email about the test. If you want to join in, just follow the instructions in the email. If you don't, just delete the email. It doesn't matter. Um, signing up for the link does not mean that you have to agree to every single test, but it's just a way to um, be notified when I'm looking for testers for sock patterns or crochet patterns such as this. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I'm hard at work on working on that and that's, yeah, that's everything I think. Thank you so much for joining me today. It means so much that you took your time, took time to craft with me today. If you could take a moment to comment down below something you were working on, I would love to hear all about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy crafting!